if you realize what we have derived, both mass m1 and mass m2 are really inertial masses. They both entered the derivation as being the constant of proportionality of inertia. They resist, they both enter the theory here, saying, well, it is a means to calculate the force that acts and the force is equal to the inertia times the acceleration. So both M1 and M2 are inertias. So the statement is here that the gravitational force that is exerted by the sun on a planet is proportional to the inertia of the sun. And that is really an astonishing result 